DataWalk is a multi-user software platform for collaborative, intelligence-led decision-making. DataWalk enables all your data and related work product to be stored, accessed, analyzed, and shared via central repository. DataWalk enables you to quickly integrate and correlate vast amounts of data to answer complex questions and to perform investigations. In this brief demo, we'll show how DataWalk enables you to easily identify and monitor risk of individuals associated with spreading coronavirus. We'll start with the anonymous mobile device data logs for Poland and Italy, and for this demo we've added fictitious data, simulating passenger records data from airlines, or PNR, and we've also added locations of medical clinics and hospitals. Various other types of data, such as cell tower logs, immigration records, and so forth, could also be used for tracking risk of spreading coronavirus. All of these data sources are available for authorities around the world. We'll use this data to demonstrate how DataWalk can automatically identify various patterns of life to be able to detect and monitor potential clusters of people who have been in the areas where the COVID-19 virus has been confirmed. We'll use three simple examples here, however many different types of conditions could be checked. Let's start with our cell phone data. We have about 190 million records, which for this type of data is actually a tiny sample, but DataWalk can easily handle the many billions of records that could be used in practice. We can instantly review underlying data in a table. We have basic information about the applications used, unique device ID, geolocation of device activity, as well as date and time, which we use to generate an hour type column where any activities between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. are tagged as bad down, while the rest we call waking hours. First, we'll check to see specific patterns. In this example, we want to see those phones which have been logging in from Italy in the area where the COVID-19 virus was confirmed or where quarantines have been established and who later visited a hospital or clinic in Poland. To do that, we'll use the histogram to select only infected locations in Italy under quarantine and to only see devices logged in there within the last couple weeks. We see over 9,000 logs. Next, we select the unique device ID to see all logs generated by those devices. Then we filter this down to see only those who in the past few days logged in in the area of any hospital or medical clinic in the country. And immediately we see six logs generated by mobile devices of interest. We can visualize this data on a map where we see clusters in two different cities. We can then drill down and see the specific devices and the medical facilities where these people visited. So, what we have shown is the ability to identify how the virus moved from any of the infected areas in one country or area to specific people and medical facilities in other countries and areas. This could enable local health authorities to quickly identify outbreaks in new areas in order to consider further action such as monitoring, quarantines, or deployment of additional resources. In our second example, we'll score devices to identify those individuals with the highest probability of infection. DataWalk provides a powerful scoring mechanism which enables you to combine various types of patterns, rules, and methods to identify cases most likely being in a high-risk zone. We moved to the DataWalk workspace, which is a library of all rules and analyses generated by different users, where anyone with the right permissions can click on what we call an easy button and get instant access to the results. From this panel, you can easily set an alert, and after a few clicks, the alert has been activated. Now, anytime a device crosses into the access point one area, DataWalk will automatically send a notification. For example, we had generated rules which indicate co-travelers, specifically people who've been in the same place in the range of five or 10 meters for longer than one, five, and 10 minutes. We also use fictitious PNR data to simulate rules based on cross-border logs, such as came back from Italy, China, and so forth. Based on these rules, we have generated a score assigning weights to each. As shown here, we have assigned various weights for rules where people traveled longer or have been in close proximity. Once the score definition is ready, first we select the cell phone ID belonging to a patient who is positively diagnosed for COVID-19 in a hospital. On the folder, we change his status to COVID-19 confirmed. Next, we calculate a score to identify device owners who are in close proximity to this individual. DataWalk computes this score.
and the results are available here. We've identified 13 devices with various scores. For the highest scoring IDs, we'll show the bed down pattern where the same device has been logging in during bed down hours. We come back to the Data Walk Universe Viewer and apply a filter on mobile device data, bed down. We want to find anybody that's been bedding down where there's been a repetitive pattern of life. This will help us localize where they sleep, which may reflect their place of living. We can visualize this on a map to see places of interest. So with this second example, we've identified people at the highest risk of contracting coronavirus and where they live, such that an informed decision can be made whether to monitor their medical condition, establish a quarantine, or take other action. These kind of analytic capabilities could enable authorities to also do things like check who is under quarantine but illegally leaving the quarantine zone, or where there are a number of people exiting high-risk regions. For a third example, we take three IDs belonging to patients for whom the COVID-19 virus was confirmed. Now we use a graph algorithm that enables us to identify common places which have been visited by these three individuals. We select shortest path, and the system analyzes millions of data records and identifies common points for those three individuals. We can visualize this on a map, and we see that they've been in several common places, such as the airport in Bergamo, Italy. So this shows how DataWalk can enable identification of sources of an infection. This particular demo was generated in just a few days and shows how DataWalk can help identify coronavirus risk associated with people and locations. Customer deployments of the system using real data could typically be done in a few weeks. To learn more, contact us through our website at datawalk.com.